We uh, are coming up in 2017 in our 10 year reaccreditation process with the Higher Learning Commission, or HLC. A strategic plan is the centerpiece of any reaccreditation effort. The HLC must be assured uh, that the institution has a vision and is moving forward. It's very important that a strategic plan come from the ground up in the sense that uh, what it does, that's where the great strength of the institution is, is in the grassroots and then percolate up. So it's important not to bias the system by whatever the chancellor wants to do, but we need to understand what it is that the university is capable of doing, and that's going to be coming from uh, uh, the faculty and the staff and the students. We want to make sure that people have access to the process. This will be done through town halls, it will be done through sounding boards, it will be done through surveys, and there need to be multiple touches. It can't just be one and done. Uh, you have to engage people in a sustained way over time in order for them to truly have input into a process. We need to ensure the continued academic excellence and innovation of our faculty and staff at this institution. That's very important. Uh, we need to continue our exceedingly high level of community engagement and what does that look like moving forward, including uh, economic development. We need to make sure that this institution is playing a leading role in this region in terms of economic development. Once we have our strategic plan, which I've asked Provost Learns to deliver by before the end of the calendar year of 2015, then the next step will be implementation. And that will probably take a full six months after the strategic plan is done uh, in order to uh, figure out how we're going to implement the plan. So the plan probably will not become fully active until July of 2016. The strategic planning process is going to enable us to re-envision what this institution can be. And so I hope that everybody will participate in that.